All right, I'm gonna take a side note because you mentioned somebody that that, that, that that was well respected on the streets, well respected in chain gang and in the afterlife. Uh, J Rock. Uh, I met y'all around about the same time, but if I could ever say it was some dudes from Decatur that was standing, I I was like, that's a different Decatur right now. This, <laughs> this is different. I said, I'm from Decatur. Yeah. Decatur. Decatur. It's a different, like, dude, yeah. that, it's, a, it's, it's different. Just like, uh, like mentally, like almost three steps ahead of the every part. I was like, bro, it's a difference between Decatur and Decatur. I said, that's Decatur right there. So do me a favor and just in respect to hear people uh, just describe J Rock, how y'all met and how y'all relationship developed. Man, old, old J Rock, man. Um, I used to call him Dope Boy, man. Mm -hmm. Real, real name of uh, Jonathan McGee. Um, when I met J Rock in juvenile in Cal County, I ain't like him. I was like, who the fat boy? I think he did always talk. He had a little a guy he used to kick with with some green mm -hmm. eyes. Come to find out he laid on his name be Joker. You know, everybody know the jokes. Oh, so you Joker and J Rock was in in Juvenile? Yeah. Yo? Yeah. Oh so, man. So, <laughs> he always, you know, busting up and messing with uh Joker, messing with him all the time. So, you know, I'm I'm afraid, you know, at this point, you know, at that time I'm like, man, because I ain't grew up on counter road. I ain't, you know what I mean? We we beat it with them on Gresham and shit. So I ain't really like his movement, you know what I'm saying? We go down to Alto. And I don't know, for some reason, J-Rock just became a bad friend. Yeah. Me, him, Lil E. Uh, J-Rock, man, was, he was different, man. Yeah, he could. I don't, yeah. I don't know how a nigga, that nigga was like, that nigga was like the, with, the, with Denzel Washington when he was a gangster in the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. J-Rock was different. J-Rock, right? he had an aura about him, man. Like, you knew not to, if you borrowed him money, you knew to pay it back. Like the play, yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew yeah. to pay it back. Uh, yeah. He got on the street, man. Uh, uh, when I got to prison, he came to pick me up at the park of Greenbrier. And we in the car. We sitting down. He said, let me in. I'm going to go a step for the broad. I'll be right back. He left a book bag in the uh, car. <laughs> I opened the book bag up, man. He had me about $200,000. Yeah. I closed it back and got out the car. Yeah. Five or six. You just scared you. Scared the living shit out of me, but... What I'm saying about J-Rock here, man, the type of brother he was, man, he didn't trust everybody, but I knew that day he trusted me. Yeah, 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 yeah. J-Rock said something to me one day, bro. I had to G got into it with, uh, I had got into it with somebody, and I know it was going to be something after this. So he came and talked to me. You know how he roll up. It wasn't like he ain't never, he always just in his own little speed. And he was like, shit, you straight? I was like, y'all straight. He was like, you, uh, you know it ain't over with, right? Yeah. Well, and that's it. That all he said, just like Jack. He really, you just really just put me on point. But you, he did it in a way where it was just like he was like younger than me, but he was like a a voice of reason. If that exactly, makes sense. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a voice you can listen to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, I never forget it, man. When, uh, we came home, man. We enjoyed our we, we enjoyed some day together, man. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And then we get a phone call. A Piper Fleming call. Hey man, you heard about J Rock? No, some y'all need kill him now. No. Ain't no way, man. Not dope boy. Damn, dope too boy. smooth, too, too cool, smooth. too respected. But um It happened, man. Um uh, and that taught me a lesson, um. Uh, you gotta leave the streets alone, man. You can't, you can't, you can't keep one foot in and one foot out. You're gonna lose, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, all due respect from a man, man. But you gotta get out of the street, man.